All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds, fighting out of Monterey, Mexico, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 2 wins, no losses. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Butcher. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. After a big win by submission his last time out, we'll see what he does for an encore here tonight. Huge victory his last time out against a high-level opponent. Now, an even higher-ranked opponent stares in front of him. The octagon door is closed. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak under the brightest spotlight of his UFC career. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he got him. He got him. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to throw. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him, yep, there absolutely. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish.
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Now the guy's got an armbar. He's attacking it on him. Gotta be careful, armbar. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Almost every strike found the target. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. stoppage and a great performance by this young man. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Butcher. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion.
I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Nice. Nice. Good. Now we're putting your strikes together. Come on. kick without setting it up with a jab or straight. Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. Now that's how you throw a combination. Awesome stuff. Swap your focus to the next set. All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. Perfect. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. with your kicks. That's what I'm talking about. It's starting to fall apart. Stay busy. Stay busy. That is beautiful. how we drill hard work hard work hard work
All right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Oh, good block. Not bad. Speed, timing, reaction. That's the goal today. Perfect block. Good, good. Moving on now. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Some pressure on it. At least we now know what we have to work on, right? Good job. Here we go, BJJ 101. Find the position, transition, submission. A few more steps in between, but you get the idea. Good work, maintain control. Nice, nice, really great job today. Keep working. Nice work, lock him down. Getting close to the finish now. Nice work. Lock him down. Come on now. You got 30. Nice work, now focus. That's what I like to see. You kept working for... All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. Nice work in there.
Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, 30 seconds left. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Nice. That was some good kickboxing. Just remember, always set up your... Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of three wins, no losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. No denying the momentum that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He has won his last three fights, and if he wins a fourth one here tonight, he could just be staring at his first UFC title fight. If not, it might be a title eliminator. Bottom line, you win a fourth straight fight here, you are getting a high-profile pay-per-view slot here in the UFC. Quick level change. Oh, he in. went single, rotated head outside. Just keep him off a right. Oh. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, tripling up on the jab. Well played. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Table of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive hip kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. kicks to the body, he throws him low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Chase down the finish 
when you get an opportunity. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout butcher. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.